Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Monday. It's Meditation Monday. It is also April the 1st, and rumour has it that today is the true New Year's Day. And I also hear that Mercury is beginning retrograde in Aries, which should make things very interesting. <laughs> but we are here for a little bit of peace and quiet, and maybe to activate some wishes this morning. Now, I did my second Sunday Night Ascension Club last night, and there was a piece of information that had been given to me by, by Claire Taylor about how the angelics use the word wishes as opposed to manifestation. Two very different words with two very different kind of formats of energy. So on this day, as we are heading into probably one of the most powerful periods of this year, let's set what we wish to see in the world around us, what we wish to create, what we wish to activate as a reality. So just take a few moments choose, tuning into yourself. Choose yourself this morning. Tune into yourself. Breathe deeply. Listen to the, the abundance of tweeting around me if you want to just kind of key into the nature vibe and just allow yourselves to completely relax. Due to the energies at the moment, what the Schumann Resonance has been doing, the solar flares, all of the other intense activities of the cosmos, your physical body might be telling you that it's holding tension, it's holding stress. You might be feeling pain in certain areas. You might be feeling kind of um, feelings that could be nearly described as anxiety, but not quite. Just focus on your being now, your person, the physical unit that is holding all of these frequencies and this consciousness. And give yourself some love. Activate your fifth dimensional heart center. Allow the energy of the heart to spread through every cell of your body. Give yourself permission to relax. Very important, even if you're, even if you've got things on your mind, they are better dealt with from a, a relaxed and an easy perspective. Just breathe deeply in through your nose, out through your mouth. And just feel the quantity of light that exists at this moment within the cells of your body. It's high. Everything that's coming in, everything that is contributing to your process at the moment, it's bigger than you've had before and it's going to increase. Relax, allow it to flow in and put your heart in charge. Just say to your body, your fields, your spirit, that the heart will guide you and that your higher consciousness is now stepping in. The consciousness of the, consciousness of the higher, the consciousness of your higher mind, combined together, beautiful heart-centered leadership. And become aware of the upcoming portal or the, the 8th of April, the eclipse, the solar eclipse. Wherever you are in the world, this energy is going to be affecting all of us. And it is an opportunity to recreate a platform of peace at a much higher level. So what do you wish for in this world? Do you wish for peace? Do you wish for harmony? Do you wish for more love? Do you wish for abundance? Do you wish for unity? What is coming through you at this time as a priority for how you wish to live 
and experience this world around you. And as you tune into this, just be aware of the presence of your guardian angel. And all of us have guardian angels and we have had since the beginning of our soul's journey. <clears throat> Many of us have met our guardian angels, work with them on a regular basis. But as we've moved through this ascension process, so many other beings, ascended masters, dragons, unicorns, archangels, galactics, all of these other beings of light have stepped in. And the guardian angels are still here with us, overseeing absolutely everything that occurs. So your guardian angel is prepared to amplify your wishes on this special morning, on this special day. Your guardian angel is standing in front of you now. Just take note of what colour your guardian angel is. Could be bright radiant gold, might be white, might have flashes or streaks of blue and pink. What colour or colours or energies is your guardian angel choosing to radiate? Now tune into the centre of your heart and see which wish has formed itself in the centre. You are looking to create something beautiful and magical in your life that is going to be here to stay. It's not going to be a fleeting wish, it's going to be something permanent, something that you can tangibly tune into on a daily basis, something that will affect how you think, how you act, how you interact with this world around you. What are you wishing for? And whether it is one thing or whether it is a multitude of things, Allow them to form now in your heart and when you are ready, take whatever you have created, whatever has presented itself in the form of a golden ball and hand it to your guardian angel. And as you make this exchange, your guardian angel then breathes light from the centre of her heart into your wishes and just watch them expand and amplify. And due to the nature of this frequency, the universe has now seen and heard the frequency of the creation between the two of you and is adding its own light, adding its own beauty. So see this becoming larger still whether you've wished for peace, whether you've wished for unity, for more love, for more centeredness, more groundedness, anything in your life that is going to make a significant difference. Just take a few moments to tune into this some more. And the more you tune into it, the larger this request, this wish grows. It is now becoming part of your bodies and your fields. It's merging and mixing with all of the thought structures, all your creation abilities. There is an imprint of it becoming very clear on the crystal ball of your third eye. And again, your guardian angel, your beloved guardian angel is amplifying this yet further. And when you are ready, just let it go and thank your guardian angel. And just know that this process, process of wishing into creation is now in full effect. 
Keep focusing on what you wish to create, the end result, the prize. And just believe wholeheartedly, trust that this will occur. I'm just thanking your guardian angel now for their ever presence and their love and their assistance as you traverse this ascension pathway. And now before the end of this coming week is up, I'll be traveling to Hamburg, which I'm very excited about. So for those of you that are joining, joining us in Hamburg, I look forward to seeing you there. I'll be arriving on Friday and getting stuck in on Saturday and Sunday. Your inner light forge, the workshop. There are still some seats available if you'd like to contact Miriam. And uh, if not, I will see you on the other side of that. Sending you all so much love. Bye for now.